okay guys uh, welcome back to my youtube channel so today we're gonna discuss on the chapter on unit 4 compound interest so in today's session we're gonna do some of the past year questions uh, as a tutorial so that you can review for your test or final exam okay so let's start now so we're going to start with our first uh, past year questions that is uh, January 2018 okay remember that for the past semester exam papers you have two part part A and part B and for unit 4 compound interest in part A it will be asked in question number 3 while for part B it will be asked in question number uh, 2B okay so without further ado let's just start with our tutorial for today so let's look at what are the uh, question been asked in this uh, past year questions okay uh, this is math 112 january 2018 part a question number three the first question states that David deposit 5,128.83 cents in a saving account at 8% compounded semi-annually. Okay, and then after X years, the amount is 6,000, find X. So what you need to do first is actually to identify the given information. So in this case, the first given information that you have here is deposit. 5,128.83 cents in the saving account and then the second information that you have here will be the 8% compounded semi-annually okay the last information that you have in this uh, question is the amount after x years so the question asks you what is x in this case so based on the information given you know that the word deposit means that it is in initial uh, situation or the present value so in this case you have p is equal to p is equal to 5 1128.83 cent and then you have the interest rate to be 8% compounded semi-annually so it is compounded more than once a year so you have the nominal rate k is equal to 8% or simply 0 0.08 while the conversion period or the frequency m is equal to 2 why 2 because this is given in the form of semi annually or twice a year and lastly you have the amount at the end of the terms or after x years so this gives you the future value s equal to 6000 okay so with all the information given here so you can use since you already have the formula of you already have the amount of s the future value and also the present value you can use the compound interest formula okay so what is the compound interest formula the compound interest formula states that s is equal to p1 plus i to the power of n so what is i and what is n so i here is the interest per period which is given by i equal to k divided by m which is equal to 0 0.08 divided by 2 or equivalently this is 0 0.04 while n here is the total number of payment just simply by multiplying the uh, conversion that is 2 with the time in years so it will be m times t so in this case m is equal to 2 while t in years is given by x okay so with all this information that you have substitute in the compound amount formula you get 6000 equal to 
5128.83 multiply with 1 plus and then just now we have already calculated i equal to 0 0.04 so 0 0.04 to the power of t here n here is equal to 2x okay so solving for this one you can uh, bring 5128.83 to the left side and it will be a division and then you can find the right hand side be 1.04 to the power of 2x so what you have here will be 6000 divided by 5128.83 equal to 1.04 to the power of 2x so in this case since x is the one that we want to find and it is in the index position or the exponent position so what you need to do here is to take log on both sides so taking log on both sides so you have log 6000 divided by 5128.8 3 equal to so when you take log on the right hand side you can bring the 2x to the bottom so you're gonna get 2x log of 1.04 so now you can solve for x so first let's just have 2x equal to so bring log of 1.04 to the left side you get divided so let's calculate that for, for a moment so you have log first you have 6000 divided by 5128.83 so you get the answer to be 1.1698 and then this value have to take log so log of the answer and then you divide by Okay. you divide by log of 1.04 so you get 3.999 something right so you get 3.999 so x here when you take x so you have to divide this thing with 2 so you get approximately equal to two yes okay so that is for the first part so in this case after two years the amount 5128.83 cents that david has deposit will be amounted to 6000 so it takes two years for the amount to become 6000 okay so that is for the part a for five marks okay okay for part b it will be in the form of uh, an application of compound interest and whereby in this case the marks is higher compared to part a and the solution also will be a little bit more complex so let's look at how we can solve this problem so the question states that Krisha had a fund of 30,000 and plan to invest her money in two different schemes she invested 60% of her money in scheme A that pays 7% compounded semi-annually and then the balance was invested in scheme B that pays K% percent compounded quarterly. After 8 years, the accumulated amount for quarter, for the both of her investment was 60,000. So the question right now, find the value of K which is find the interest compounded quarterly for the scheme B. So first of all, let's just look at what are the information given. So the first value that you see is 30,000. So this is the total amount of fund that Kisha have. And he, she invested in two different schemes. Okay, where the first one is 60% of her money in scheme A. 
so 60% of 30,000 okay so 60% of 30,000 will be amounted to 18,000 okay so that means in this case it will be divided into two parts so one is 18,000 and another 12,000 will be divided uh, invested in scheme B <coughs> for scheme A the interest is 7% compounded semi-annually and for scheme B the interest is K% percent compounded quarterly and the duration of the investment is 8 years right and at the end of the 8 years investment period her total fund now become 60,000 so let's see what are all this information reflects in our solution okay the first one you have 30,000 so 30,000 so it is divided into two parts one is 18,000 which is 60% and the other one is 12,000 so 18,000 will be in scheme A and 12,000 will be in scheme B so in scheme A you have the interest rate to be 7% 7, 7 compounded similarly so K is equal to 7% and M is equal to 2 because semi annually and uh, the duration is 8 years so same thing with just now so you have T is equal to 8 so from here <coughs> from here you know that I is equal to 0 0.07 divided by 2 and n will be 2 times 8 which is equal to 16 okay for scheme b you have k okay for scheme b you have you have k equal to k percent and then m here will be equal to in this case is compounded quarterly so four okay and then again the t here is still the same as eight years so you have i equal to k divided by four and n here is still the same that uh, so four multiplied with eight you get 30 and all together when at the end of the eight years you have the total amount to be equal to s equal to sixty thousand okay so let's see how we can solve this problem so remember that uh, you have two scheme over here you have scheme a and scheme b and both scheme give you their own future value and recall that the formula for the future value is that s is equal to p 1 plus i to the power of n okay so for scheme a the s here will be given by p 1 plus i to the power of uh, sorry uh, let me just fill in all the values first so for scheme a the value is p is equal to 18,000 so 18,000 times 1 plus i here is 0 0.07 divided by 2 and then n is equal to 16 okay so this is for scheme a and then for scheme b you have p equal to 12,000 and then 1 plus i is k divided by 4 and then to the power of 32 and all together this value should be amounted to 60,000 okay so let's calculate for the first part here so in this part for the scheme A, you can calculate directly. So calculate this value, you get 0 0.07 divided by 
to so you get 0 0.035 plus 1 you get 1.035 and then take to the power of 16 so you have 1.733.98 and then you multiply with 18,000 so multiply with 18,000 you get the values for the first part is 31,000 211.75 okay okay and then for the second part you cannot solve this because you don't know the value of k so just leave it as 12,000 1 plus k over 4 to the power of 32 equal to 60,000 so now you can bring the 31,211 to 0.75 to the other side. So you subtract from 60,000. So you get 28,788.25. So you get now 12,000 1 plus k over 4 to the power of 32 is equal to 28,788.25 Okay, bring 12,000 to the other side. You have 1 plus k over 4 to the power of 32 is equal to 2.2 2.399 okay and then take to the power of 32 to the other side it become the square root of 32 of 2.399 so in this case you can just take the answer that you have just now to the power of 1 over 32 So you get 1.027, so you have 1 plus k over 4 equal to 1.0277, So this gives you k over 4 equal to, take 1 on this, so 0. Point 0277222971 so multiply with 4 so in this case you're gonna get k is approximately 4.11 percent okay you get um, Okay, so you get 4.11%. Sorry, uh, not 4.11%. So, so you're going to get about approximately 11. 11.1 percent okay so you're gonna get the answer to be 0 0.11089 when you multiply 0 0.0277 with 4 okay so that is the value of k in this question so hopefully you have some ideas on how to solve the problem here so until we meet for the second tutorial so remember this is the first tutorial in the uh, in the topic of compound interest so this is the first one so we have another four tutorial coming up so thank you very much and i see you again next time bye